Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Deus Ex. I have to say I'm sorry there's been such a big delay between videos. The reason is that I keep running into a corrupted conversation in the naval shipyard and I can't seem to do anything about it without the game crashing. So we're just going to have to find a way to avoid triggering the dialogue. Even though I made the soldiers at the entrance friendly, I'm just going to have to take them down before they talk to me to avoid the crash. But before I do that, I will show you the dialogue, and then after the game crashes, I'll edit the video together and do what I have to do. So let's begin by talking to John. He has nothing to say. I've dropped you in an abandoned lot next to the base. There should be an old grate on the wall that you can gain entry through. Gotta get out of here before the sentries get suspicious. And there he goes. I'd be lying if I said I hadn't taken advantage of the downtime to spend some time in the beta for Diablo 3, because I finally got into it last week, before the open beta, thankfully. And it's gonna be awesome. You're past the fence. Good. Up ahead are the barracks. You need to gain entry to the base and eventually reach the large building to the north. Keep your eyes open for the ammo storage facility. You need to load up on explosives. Well, I have to tell you, I've been out of Deus Ex for a while. I've forgotten what my quick save key is. Give me just a minute. Numpad plus. That's what I thought, but... There. Okay, good. So, go ahead and explore this building first. No need to waste any lockpicks on that door since we can just open this one. You see that the soldiers are friendly. <coughs> Excuse me. You see that the soldiers are friendly because we talked to Vinny back in the Underworld Tavern. Let's read this newspaper. Search for terrorist leader intensifies. APR New York. UNATCO is working closely with FEMA and other international security agencies around the world to apprehend Travis Whitsitt, a terrorist with ties to a number of groups including the NSF, Silhouette, and Organized Crime in Hong Kong. We believe him to be responsible for organizing and leading the attack on Liberty Island and the deaths of a number of UNATCO agents, said Walton Simons, director of FEMA. The necessity of instituting martial law in New York, unheard of in the history of America, is directly attributable to criminal elements operating under his orders. Simons went on to say that evidence recovered from the recent bombing of the VersaLife building in Hong Kong demonstrates Travis Whitson's involvement beyond a shadow of a doubt and points towards an organized, systematic campaign of terror designed to extort freedom for politically dangerous ideologies through any means necessary. Authorities are also seeking any information on the whereabouts of Alex Jacobson or Brian Jock Flanagan, key figures in the terrorist organization. Let's talk to this guy. You came in on the chopper? You must be with the DC people. My sister lives down there. She works in the Space Museum. Never seen so many folks from the Beltway. It's like a convention. Us troops, we're pretty anxious to find out what's going on. I guess we'll hear about it on the news, and then we can say we were there. Bob Page was here yesterday. I bet what's going on is financial. I think the United States is asking for another loan. That's my theory. We could sure use another check from the Chinese. It was nice chatting. Like the directive said, we've got this place sealed tight. You can count on us. Like the directive said, we've got this place sealed tight. You can count on us. All right. So now, wherever the patroller went, there he is. You must be Din. Oh. Who's asking? Our buddy Vinny said to expect. You. Think you can find out what's going on in there? Go for it. Is FEMA really running the show? FEMA and the Chinese? I don't like the smell of it one bit. Me either. This key will open the main gate. The guard just inside the main building entrance will let you pass. But don't expect any hospitality from the FEMA people. And there you have it. You see where the dialogue file crashes the game. Every time. No matter what I do, no matter which portions of it I try to skip. 
talking to the soldiers makes my game crash. So, we're just gonna have to... Take them down. Non-lethally, of course. In spite of the fact that they're friends with us, which is... Annoying, but... We do what we must. We have dealt with glitches before. We'll deal with this one, too. We can't talk to the soldiers, so be it. Now... If I get too close to him, he'll talk to me. So I guess we'll just have to trank him. Astonishingly, he stays friendly. Now his friend is unhappy with me. He's still around somewhere. This ain't over. He's long gone. You must be Denton. Oh no. Oh, there we go. Who knows? That's the first time it's worked for me. Let's take him down anyway. Just seems kinder. Given what's about to go down. Well, I guess skipping the dialogue is one way to do it. Doesn't seem to want to let me move his body, though. No matter. So we now have a key to the main gate. At the main gate. Get to the door at the base of the huge crane in the distance. But watch out for the guards and security bots. But... We're not actually going to use the main gate because there's skill points to be had down in the sewers. Which, you know, that should be obvious, but... Ah, oh, it's good to be back. I love this game. These sewers run to the submarine building. You can be sure the military has rigged these passages with detectors and booby traps. your future objectives. Dow will be sending you to Paris. Make sure he gives you the current residence of his associate, Morgan Everett. I do not have access to that information. Let's head down here first, just because, although it's hard to get a hold of, there's an EMP grenade inside that pipe. I don't think there's anything underwater. Oh, look, there he is. A gas grenade. An armed one at that, so don't miss it. Alright. Now we need to jump across the pipes. As annoying as first person platforming is. And always has been. Doubtless you hear a spider bot running around. We get 40 skill points for making it to these beams. Which I guess is nice, but I just realized that I still want to take my usual approach of exploding the detectors. What else am I going to do with my get gun? Let's use a lamb, actually. It seems like it's just taking up space. do a better job tossing it, though. That ought to do the trick. For one set, at least. If you're not into explosions, 
He can use multi-tools on the panel right there. I'm sure that disables the beams, but it's expensive. It takes three tools since I'm still only trained. Let's use my other lamb. Open up an inventory slot. I may be too close. No, I'm good. So with those beams gone, we should never have to deal with that bot you're hearing. A hatch opens up somewhere and lets the spider bot out if you trigger those alarms. Getting past it got a, getting past the beams got us another 20 skill points. There's a gas grenade here, ah! which I completely failed to disarm. My skills have atrophied, I think. That's what I get for spending too much time playing Diablo 3 and slacking on Deus Ex, isn't it? There's another gas grenade over here. Another exit. And here we have access to the dock area. So, let's stay down in the sewers, finish exploring them completely. Let's... Let's blow up these detectors, too. I don't have much other use for, uh... Lambs and death rockets. If someone upstairs heard that, oh no, whatever shall we do? Oh, there's some toxic fumes in here. No worries. beams. Two picks to get over there, or another explosion. I choose another explosion. There's some simplicity in that, I think, which I rather enjoy. Now, I do need to make sure there's nothing behind these grates, so let's do that right quick. It's not like I'm hurting for lock picks. But I don't believe there's anything in here. Although I could well be wrong. Yeah, all of that's just different ways around. Definitely not worth the lot fix. Anyway, we need to get across here, so... Note the ball on the ground. I'm actually gonna try and finagle it so I can pick that up. Just because I believe we can destroy these toxic barrels with explosions as well. We can, but we need to be farther away. And I really have no other use for the wall. Seeing as... It's one shot, and it takes up four inventory slots. Let's blow the one close to me. It'll fill the lower level with gas, but then the gas will disappear. That should allow me to reach the other side of the grate safely. It does take that gas a long time to clear, but once it does, it's gone. Which is really quite handy. So now we can jump up here. You can hear military bots and patrollers up above us. You won't believe this, JC. There was a raid on smugglers. I just saw Gunter get into a copter on the roof and head back to Yonatko. I checked the police bands, though, and they're still looking for Smuggler. Looks like he managed to slip away. 
If you do that and you hadn't warned Smuggler to get out, they'll tell you he's dead, which is, you know, sad. So, I would like to get that grate open and disarm that lamb instead of triggering its explosion. Uh, getting, getting to that grate gave me another 50 skill points, which brings my total to 1732. I could train myself in a few worthless things, but I can't afford anything worthwhile yet. Let's hold on to those points. So let's head up here. Now, I'm sure somewhere there's a way to disable these bots, but... We can just as easily blow them up with two rockets apiece. With the sewers to duck down into, why not? If he walks over the hatch like that, I might be able to blow him up through it. That would be fun. Too close. Let's try again. Yeah, I thought not. That was just stupid of me. Well, let's... Let's see. If we... I thought I'd be able to get the shot off. One bot down. And I thought I took some damage, but apparently not. You! Stop right there! Okay. We got a soldier out there as well as a second bot. Now I get the feeling he might be headed straight over the patch as well. What's up, dude? I can't lock on to him, or the rocket will bend and hit the ceiling, but if I can just get him to fire straight through... Take the bot down, but I think I just blew up the soldier too. Yes, observe the giblets. <laughs> At this point, I think the soldier's still alive. Good, good, good. That's what I wanted. With the bots eliminated, getting around is much simpler. Now it's worth this guy, and we all get a bonus. It's worth noting that these soldiers will never be friendly. They're not mad because I started dropping guys or anything like that. Get down there, JC. The only ones that turn friendly are the ones at the main gate and the one 
inside the build and one inside the building. All right, all right, all right. Now, let's wait for him to turn around or go somewhere and let's drop him too. Both of them. Man, it's movement, sir, movement. It's weird to me that they use the uh, UNATCO Trooper voice set and talk about me because they there's no reason these guys should know who JC is, that he's a rookie or any of that. It's dented. Just like on the target range. Devastating. Help! Hold it. Oh. You never learn. Okay, okay, okay. Need to let him move a little farther, but then I need to get to him faster. Come on, JC. Hang on, I heard something. Help! There we go. Knives and assault rifles on those boys. Nothing worth getting excited over. There's another bot. Let's go ahead and eliminate it from a distance. Or not. Let's get the soldier first. We have movement here, sir. It's Denton. Well, I didn't want that. Hopefully I can get all the way to him before he turns around for any reason. You'll note we've made it all the way to the crane Tracer talked about. There we go. Knife and an assault shotgun. Similarly. Nothing to get excited about. Try taking the elevator to the top of that crane. You might be able to get on the roof and enter the building through the air conditioning ducts. Very good, very good. Now, all the hostels I am aware of in this area have been taken down, so... Let's just hit that valve, which I think is all we actually needed to do to get this grate open. With that, we can disarm this lamb. We get 60 skill points now for getting past that grate. And I think there's a map change here, which takes us to the ship. straight to the water. You can reach the ship this way if you don't mind swimming. Yes, yes, good. But I don't want to trigger that map change just yet, so... Let's... Let's back it up and explore the rest of this map first. Let's be a little bit more careful. My goodness. Guess it was nothing. Lock and load! Really? He's going to toss a lamb at close... He's going to toss a lamb at close range? That seems insane. There's one. But he's got a lamb. Which is worth getting excited about. We can always use explosives. I don't think there's anything else in this direction.
we will explore inside all these buildings, don't worry, but let's just check all the outside passages first. I think one of the other two sewer exits comes out here between the buildings. Yes. Okay, let's not... Let's not do that. I verified that's a sewer exit. That's all I really wanted to do. So, these will all trigger the map change too, but... Later on, when we get the code, we can just roll through this door. Taking the elevator up is yet another way in, which I don't quite want to do yet. I want to explore the shipyard first. I'm gonna get I'm gonna try to get the whole exterior taken care of before I start going into buildings. Next storage area, do not use electronic devices. There is another bot inside there. If we push that button, it'll get out, so it should be obvious. We don't want to do that. Well, I got 40 skill points just then. I'm not entirely sure why. handle these security beams. I actually think those beams will release that bot. Now we have a way around that fence, which is handy. And we're actually getting close to being back at the front gate. See a soldier up there we need to be careful of. He's the guy who nailed us earlier. There's another fellow who would very much like to nail us. get the drop on him. Lock and load! I think JC is the one who said a bomb's a bad choice for close range combat, but apparently these particular soldiers never learned that lesson. And here we're back at the main game. Now the only thing I don't know is where the one other sewer exit comes up. So I will have my eyes peeled for that. In the meantime, let's see what all there is to see out here. I know we can get into some of these trucks. Two picks each, or a door strength of 25. Door, st door strength 25 with mastery and low-tech weapons. We can simply bash them open with the dragon's tooth, which is exciting. It's also my new favorite way to open crates. Ammo, med kit. use this to get into the truck. Oops. Sniper ammo, shotgun.
shotgun ammo, and shotgun ammo. Nothing a non-lethal player is interested in. Haven't seen you in a week. Where you been? Ah, workers' camp. Messed up my hand while I was working on the sewer shutoff grate. Damn thing came down and nearly took off my whole arm. You gonna be alright? Yes, okay. They told me they were gonna fix it. Of course, they waited until after I got hurt to do it. I, uh, saw a bunch of folks working on that shed out back a few days ago. Figured they must be tinkering with the control valve, sure enough. What's up with this place anyway? On the way in, some goon with a gun frisked me from head to toe. Told me to watch my step. FEMA, sure. After they declared martial law, they came down on this place like they owned it. Shut off the sub pin, threatened to shoot anyone got close. Yeah, I saw him goose-stepping around back there. Christ, this place is going to hell in a handbasket real fast. Wonder what the Union's got to say. Right now, the Union ain't got nothing to say. All right. I've never heard that conversation before. That's how I know this game is great. Every time I play. Biocell. Range mod. Range. That's what we like. Let's put that in our crossbow. Accurate range is up to 75 feet. Now there's there's at least one spare lockpick in the event that I need it. Let's head into this building now. The dock workers are not hostile, so I will try not to mess with them. I don't know why the cameras outside left us alone, but as you can see, these cameras are not. So let's hack the US Navy computer. Shut off all cameras, open all doors. I got 20 skill points for opening the door inside this room, I believe it was for. Let me handle everybody out here before I go poking around in there. The dock workers won't bother me. Any soldiers are hostile. There's the other sewer exit comes out inside this building. So let's... Somebody engaging ah. the enemy. Ah. Let's bag the other I know soldiers. I saw somebody. I think there's only one patrolling around in here, and then there's the one on the catwalk up there. False alarm, I guess. Oh, there are two in here. But hiding behind barrels works just fine. Let's see if we can take them out. Oh, There's one. Engaging the enemy. I know I saw somebody. It would sure be handy if... Guess it was nothing. I could single shot these guys with the baton like I... Like I wanted to when I put all those skill points into mastering low-tech weapons. I know I saw somebody. Guess it was nothing. Well, we can take advantage of their... AI quirks and get some separation between them. Which will be better for us in the end. Now let's try and drop one of them. That one shot drop is what you want. Because it doesn't make everybody panic. Nobody sets off the alarm. Well, let's go for the other one, but I think... I was worried he was gonna... do a pivot and look. God damn terrorist! Come back up here! You know, I can't find any rhyme or reason to when they do and don't go down in one whack, but there they go. Alright, now let's roll up and get the guy on the catwalk. I think he's the last one who's going to make any trouble for us in here. Ooh. 
He also has a lamb and a knife on top of his useless assault rifle. Alright, let's find the key to that door. Found some rockets to replace the ones we used. That's always good. There's an assault shotgun, if for some reason you want it. Up here we've got Sabo, two sets of Sabo ammo for the various shotguns. Now let's chat with the dock workers, because I think they are friendly to us. You supposed to be taking over around here? Don't mind me saying so, you can't be worse than the other guy. Simons, that's his name. I, uh, I don't want to be getting anyone into trouble, but there's something about the man that just ain't trustworthy. Like what? Don't know exactly. I had this way of talking, like he'd just as soon wring your neck if he didn't need you for the job. Strange tattoos kind of swim around under his skin. I ain't seen nothing like it. Got work to do, sure enough. Check in with the front office you need to know anything else. Look, I'm done jawing. I got five hours left on my shift. Look, I'm done jawing. I hey, I know my job. You want something else out of me? Talk to the Union. Place has turned into a military camp. You're gone one week, this is what happens. Look, you do what you have to do, I'll do what I have to do. I'm just saying I don't trust a bunch of guys with riot gear and guns. I ain't done nothing wrong, so just leave me alone, okay? If you're gonna bust my ass, I'm gonna quit right now. Hey, I know my job. You want All right, let's talk to the one other warehouse worker. Make sure there's nothing else in the warehouse, which I don't believe there is. We can open the big door. Pop right out next to the Naval Assembly Building. And let's talk to this guy. You a supervisor? Whole place been turned upside down ever since they opened that sub pen. Yeah, I was there. Mr. Multi-Trillionaire Bob Page was all smiling and cutting the ribbon, talking about how it was this big deal for New York. Next thing I know, Page is gone and a bunch of these FEMA troops are running the place. Say it's military security. I don't know about military security. Last thing I saw, Doc, there wasn't a sub. It was some big damn freighter. Chinese, maybe. You know anything about the bonus situation? I mean, we're working some long hours here. Um, if this is about last week, that was just a one-time thing, okay? Won't happen again. Damn, you people got anything better to do but look over our shoulders? I keep my mouth shut, I don't see anything. That what you want to hear? Damn, you people got anything better to do but look over us. All right, now let's poke around in these offices. Smash stuff. Makes things nice and easy. Oh, there's a nano key to unlock the truck trailers in the parking lot. No need for that with the awesome Dragon's Tooth Sword. Data Cube. From Aston Greer to Agent Paul Jenkins. Once on site, you were to assume control of the Brooklyn Naval Shipyard's security system and link with the FEMA presence already there. Login is US FEMA and password is security. When the task is completed, report to Simons. Aston Greer, Director of Security, FEMA. All right, let's do it. US FEMA security. Access denied. All right, this must be a different computer. Let's just hack it then. From BNS Operations, subject SOP 16453-C3. Be advised that from today onwards, all bots will be serviced on bi-weekly rotating intervals. Any problems with a bot should be reported directly to the operations office. Unauthorized personnel should not attempt to effect repairs on a bot under any circumstances. BNS Operations, Grey Death Reminder. As a reminder, any personnel exhibiting symptoms of the Grey Death as described in SOP 17663-F9. And we gotta wait a bit. I've just kind of decided I enjoy smashing things. Certainly the easiest way to get around. 
Got another 20 skill points for getting through there. No need to burn a multi-tool. Or who has come into contact with such an individual should report immediately to the base hospital for treatment. BNS operations subject ASF clearances. All clearances to the advanced submarine facility are immediately revoked. Only authorized security and FEMA personnel or those other individuals with valid FEMA clearance will be allowed access. This is considered a high alert situation and lethal force will be used to control the perimeter. Any questions should be directed to Captain James Keene. jkeen slash slash milnet dot two three three dot two one three nine six. All right, now let's explore the other rooms. First, the bathroom. Hulk smash. Oh, it's not working. Okay. There's a data cube in here. From Captain James Keene to all security personnel subject security restrictions. Until further notice, all access to the Advanced Submarine Facility, ASF, is restricted to FEMA and authorized security personnel only. Security should consider themselves on high alert. All entrances have been sealed and the codes will change daily. Today's code is 0909. You will receive future codes from your direct supervisor. This code is not to be divulged to any individual who is not authorized security or FEMA. Captain James Keene, Brooklyn Naval Shipyards. Alright. Storage room. There is pistol ammo. Pistol ammo. White phosphorus rockets and another lockpick. Then in the office that was trouble to get into, this one, US FEMA security, should work. Ah, we can put all of the robots on standby from here. We can turn off the camera in the sewers. That seems to be it. Let's raid. Under the desk is a key to the ammo storage warehouse. Pistol ammo, key to supply closet, key to the commander's office. I should be able to just smash this, but I've got spare lock picks, so I guess I don't need to. Just a pistol in there. Useless. Uh, no matter. We're back to 20 lockpicks. Let's try this computer now. US FEMA security, is that gonna work? No. No email today. And with that key in hand, we can open this door to ammo storage gets me 30 skill points, but I don't want to go into ammo storage just yet. Although I think I do want to take out that bot. Now the standard security bots can be disabled with EMP grenades. God! Military bots are a little too awesome. I am going to have to get a better toss, though. Uh, maybe I should just blow it up. That's always the simplest. What just sh oh, there he is. Shot me. Another robot right underneath me. I had hopes my grenade would work for him. Alright, let's destroy the one across the room. Let's destroy the other one too. 
Why not? All right. Now let's explore some more of the base. Cleared the warehouse. We'll go to ammo storage in a minute. But for now, let's open up the base command office. Check things out in here. Cameras over there. And the computer, I mean. Let's get out of sight, hack it open, and turn the cameras off. Off. Open. Off. Unlocked. Open. Off. Unlocked. Open. There. Now the main entrance to ammo storage is open. Let's look in these doors. There's nothing in that one. There's nothing in that one. This one will take one pick. It should be fine. There's still a spare out in one of those trucks. Data cube. Okay, I've added a new account for our friendly neighborhood FEMA rep. It's only temporary, but it should allow him to check his email and all that. Let him know we're behind a firewall, so if he wants to access any PrivNet stuff, that'll take some working out with IS. Login, Walton, password, Simons. See you in the morning, Josie. All right, before I do anything else, let's go replenish my lockpick stock. See what else we can find in here. Two bio cells. Another lock pick. Binoculars. One hundred credits. A candy bar. candy bar, and a med kit, as well as two computers. Same three emails as the warehouse computer. There's another data cube on the desk. Image Millennium Magazine. We've already, we've had that one a long time. This computer... Same three emails. So let's go into this main office, which gets us another 20 skill points if we go far enough inside. Data cube on the desk. From Walton Simons to Agent Paul Jenkins. During my review of security measures this morning, I noticed a potential hole in the security office of the East Warehouse. Please change this code immediately to 2249. We will pursue a more thorough solution at a later date. Walton Simons, Director Fee. <laughs> Newspaper. Page unveils Aquinas, APR, Washington, D.C. At a lavish press conference today attended by mainstream and technical media alike, Bob Page unveiled Page Industries' NASDAQ PAGI newest technological achievement, Aquinas. Rumored to have been in development for almost five years at a cost of over a billion credits, Aquinas is a seamless, transparent replacement for the current patchwork of net protocols that promises to radically expand bandwidth without the need for new hardware. Aquinas is the result of over 500 man-years of effort on the part of some of the most talented and driven people in the industry, Page said at the conference. We're grateful to the NSA and the Hague Commission on Secure Communications for trusting Page Industries with the responsibility for this technological milestone. As of noon today, you can expect nearly all of the world's net traffic to be carried by Aquinas. Bandwidth is now, for all intents and purposes, free. The remainder of the press conference involved presentations by the leaders of the carriers allied with Page Industries. 
in the technical discussion of the Aquinas Protocol, named after the titular Thomas Aquinas, whose philosophy is a well-known passion for Bob Page. So there's a key to the weapon storage closet, 100 bricks, and a reload mod, which I think I have... Oh, good. I can upgrade my crossbow's reload, sp reload speed to 1.4 seconds. Finally, let's get on the computer. As we know, log in Walton Password Simons. From P. Jenkins, Subject Preparations. I have downloaded the latest keyhole surveillance and given the projected weather and tides for the next 12 hours. The PRCS wall cloud should dock ahead of schedule at 1840. All clearances to the subpen have been revoked and, with the exception of a small maintenance crew, all base personnel have been evacuated from the facility. I will coordinate perimeter and security with Captain Keen. We should be able to begin loading of the helicopters within two hours of the wall cloud's arrival. I will contact you again once the operation has commenced, Agent Jenkins. From D. Balm, subject, re -secu re regarding security request. Yes, sir. My apologies, and I will certainly see to it that your orders are carried out with all speed and precision. Please let me know if you require anything else. So let's, uh, let's start at the beginning, then, read chronologically. Once the wall cloud has docked, the submarine facility will be cordoned off and only FEMA or authorized security personnel given access. You will work with Agent Jenkins to coordinate this. Helicopters will arrive shortly thereafter to be fitted with sprayer attachments and loaded with pesticide from the tanker. I have to question whether this is the best possible use of the advanced submarine facility and whether placing Navy personnel under FEMA command is advisable. FEMA requires you to comply during this crisis situation, and you are legally obligated to do so. We are attempting to control an insect population that may be a carrier for the Grey Death. If you do not devote your fullest enthusiasm to this operation, then you can and will be summarily court-martialed. If you have any questions about my authority, refer them to Rear Admiral Radcheck. Yes, sir, my apologies, and I will certainly see to it that your orders are carried out with all speed and precision. Please let me know if you require anything else. From G. Herman. Subject. He has left. I have looking for that traitor J.C. Denton, or Travis, or whatever he calls himself, but he is not in Hong Kong. I am to be returning to New York, but I will find him. Thank you for this mission. It is what I want. I will succeed for you and for Agent Navar. Gunther Herman. From P. Yin. Subject. Versalife. The Versalife situation has been corrected. All evidence of MJ-12 involvement was removed prior to the building being demolished, effectively removing all secondary and tertiary evidence along with key compromised personnel. We have leaked items to the press implicating Denton and his associates and have received favorable feedback from our sources. Production of the non-eutactic blade, NEB, has been only temporarily delayed and will be shifted to other technology centers with minimal impact to the overall schedule, Agent Peter Yin. All right, now let's explore the so-called weapons closet. And here we find a suit of ballistic armor, pistol ammo, assault rifle ammo, and a multi-tool. Let's head into this other storage building now. Even a door strength of 35 I can bash open. That's handy. Another lockpick, another multi-tool, another multi-tool, sodas, what is that for, I wonder? And most importantly, a repair bot. Is that everything? No, there's one other auxiliary building. I'll just go ahead and smash my way into. I don't think there's anything inside. Well, there's a suit of ballistic armor and some soy food. Really nothing exciting. So let's head into ammo storage now. wonder how to get to the other side. There's obviously some action back there, but no matter. Let's go up to the roof of this little office first. Check out these crates. Lockpick, sabo ammo, and a lol. 
Why not? I'll use the law as my next explosive. Right. There's a multi-tool under the desk, along with a soda, some soy food on top. Here's a security computer. Probably a good idea to hack that before we start opening doors. Robot standby. Turn the camera off. And let's open the bays. Bay one, we find TNT crates, pistol ammo, 20 millimeter HE ammo, which are the assault rifle grenades, and some basic assault rifle ammo. Bay two, we find more Sabo ammo, which I've now maxed out on, standard buckshot, an EMP grenade, and ballistic armor, and standard rockets. Bay 3 has a couple of friendly robots, since I put them in standby. 50 skill points, a critical location bonus, as well as completion of our secondary goal, which was to get into the ammo storage facility to load up on explosives. There's a hazmat suit, two lambs, and another law. I don't really have a use for. But now that now that I've opened the bays, you'll notice that I can hop up these doors. God! Here I am on the other side. It's worth 50 skill points to get up to the top there. That, I think, is the yet another alternate sewer exit. Now I think we're done here. So let's make our way over towards the main building. No need to worry about opening that last door in the ammo storage. So we've got nothing left but the assembly building. Let's get all the entrances open, just because that's nice and clean. We know the code is 0909. And in this security office, the guard is actually friendly, again, because we talked to Vinny. But we'll get a lot more skill points if we take Tracer's suggestion and head up to the roof. So let's do that. We can ride the crane all the way up. Inside here we find a sniper rifle and two things of sniper ammo. That button lowers the crane arm. Which we need to do if we want to take this entrance. It is worth noting that, well, maybe you can make this jump, but if I remember right, once you jump off the crane... Good. One of these units will have a panel you can open. Crawl through the ductwork into the building. Once you're up here, if I remember correctly, you are pretty much committed to taking this route. But this is the one you want to take anyway. It's by far the most profitable in terms of skill points. Bash that little fellow open. That's worth 60 skill points. Let's check my total right quick. 2,082. And let's head in here. Doubtless you hear spider bots. This is the main air circulation fan. If you want to slip in this way, you should look for our maintenance ends. Follow the air vents out of this room. But be prepared for dangerous machinery and maintenance bots. Bag one of these guys with the ball. Or all of them, plus the fan. I didn't even know I could blow up the fan, that's awesome. We'll just power reset. 
recirculate and regenerate. It's always handy. Now there's another multi-tool up here. Another lock pick up here. Now with the fan destroyed, we can pretty safely head down. I do hear more maintenance bots running around somewhere. But I think all of the ones in this room at least have been handled. There's assault rifle ammo on top of that central fan. Straight in the door. There he is. I knew there was another one. An EMP grenade should do nicely for him. Nail his friend the same way. I don't really have any friends to use these on. That did nothing. I do have to comment on the fact that this tunnel looks very cool. That's all. Much better. I've got a whole row of inventory space open. <laughs> Get 24 skill points for heading that way. Another security computer. Let's hack that open and see what we can find. Another map change. Okay, I'm on some sort of middle map that only applies here. So, let's just get those skill points for now. Since I can't carry any more bio cells, let's use one. Now let's head back this way. Oh. And let's take this little duck. That gets me another 40 skill points. And I think that's it for the strange little intermediate map. That completed our primary goal of getting into the sub pen. And to tell you folks the truth, I think that will suffice to call it a video. So this has been Let's Play Deus Ex. I will see you guys next time for the Naval Assembly Building and the ship itself. That's it for now. Bye-bye.